Welcome on in to the, the channel. channel. Yeah. It's a great day to play. 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 Go set the two. Feel the vibe. This is Press It Play. Hey guys, I'm Yugi. Kamusta, I am Sev. Mabuhay, I am JP. And it's Charles right here. It's a great day to play, everybody. Welcome on into the channel. Whether it's your first time here or you are rejoining us, thank you for being here with us today. You are loved, appreciated, always welcome here in this channel. And you are enough. Oh boy, guys. Today, do we have a treat for you. Everybody, welcome in. Press hit play. Hey, what's, Hello, up? what's happening, guys? How you guys doing today? Uh, we're doing good. Uh, we're okay. <laughs> I'm kind of shy. <laughs> <laughs> don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah, we're very happy to be here today. Do you guys know how many times though that like we hear from groups and they're always like, I'm gonna say every single group has been like, oh, we're introverts. We're really shy. And I'm just like, I'm always always floored because I'm like, you guys like go on stage and are like, like just superstars full confidence and then like we get in these interviews and you guys are just like <laughs> 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 i think that the what it says though, it really talks about the the humbleness that you guys have you know what i mean like and it's it's really great to see as we've kind of talked about the groups to get you guys to know you guys individually i've obviously gotten to get to know a lot of these groups individually but what we wanted to do is we wanted to share more about them with all of you because i know that you guys are super super interested to know more about them so that's what we're going to be doing today and i hope you guys are going to enjoy that but before we do I need you guys to do something here on the channel. The first thing that's going to be in the description below, you guys know how it works. It's going to be all of their socials, all of their stuff that they're working on and their brand new single that is out right now. So make sure you're subscribing there. Make sure you're liking if it's Instagram, if it's TikTok, if it's face space my book you know wherever whatever social media platform you prefer make sure because they're probably on it i assure you and you're going to want to check them out and follow the journey but without further ado let's get right on into it you know before we before we get started with the big stuff why don't you guys just tell us a little bit about your new song that is out right now and a little bit about what went into that uh, our latest single Entitled Wala Na Ba uh, is a ballad song uh, which uh, is written by me uh, and uh, co co produced by JP, our producer. Uh, this song is a, is a sad song. It's really a sad song. Uh, yeah, no, no history. Uh, no history. Experience. Yeah, it's not about His me. It's experience. <laughs> it's not about them. It's about them. <laughs> yeah, it's about them. Um, well, we just want to, uh, because Filipinos are like, they are they love really love sad songs and they really love listening to it uh it's like we want to uh, give this song to them and have their time to remember <laughs> what happened yeah the pain, <laughs> the pain. yeah the, the pain, pain. And, and many people uh can relate to this song actually because it's based on experience you know, and, and what's fascinating is because every, every group that we talk to, they play different roles in terms of how involved they are in their musical process. But you guys are basically 100% involved in your own musical process. Can you tell us a little bit about that in, in, you know, kind of what, when you start a song, like when you started this one, what did that look like? What is the, what do you guys think about when you start creating the song? How do you think about the lyrics? When do you start working on the compositions of it? What does that look like for you guys during that process? Uh, the process of our when we make a song, it it usually start with the beat. Uh, we imagine what uh, the song will sounds like, and then we we create a melody. Uh, and then after that, when we think the melody is already good, we started to write, and each members uh, help on writing the lyrics. Uh, mainly after the demo is done, JP would uh, do the final touches for the song because uh, he's the one who's in charge in making the song really cool. Uh, yeah, the harmonies and uh, back, uh, backing vocals, I'm the one who's uh, doing that. Very, very cool. So I got I to gotta ask you, preferred DAW, what's your preferred DAW that you use to write in? Do you use uh, like uh, Logic Pro Tools? Uh, I'm using FL Studio. We have an FL Studio user. Yeah. 
But hey. I mean, it's just basic. Um, yeah, yeah um, he also use sometimes Pro Tools, right? Um, is that, is that long, time yeah, long time ago. Long time ago. But I, I think it's hard. Yeah. The Pro, Pro Tools is definitely it's it's like the most complex to use for sure. But uh, no, it's just always interesting because like everybody just has a preference, and there's so many good ones out there now. So 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 cool. Can you tell us a little bit about you guys as a group? What does Press Hit Play stand for? Like, how did Press Hit Play come to be? Our Press Hit Play or PHP started way back. Uh, I think 20, 20, 2019, That's the time we we formed and decided to be in the group. We are competitors before. Uh, in a community here in the Philippines, and we just saw each other on the on some events, <laughs> and then we just say hi, hi, and then we have the same dream of being an artist. That's why that dream uh, bind us together and decided decided us to form PHP. And as for our music, one of our goals is to release or make some. Most of our musics that people can relate to, like something that really mirrors the Filipino culture and the lifestyle that we live in. It's basically a, a story of life, which everyone can relate to. Yeah, that's, that's super, super powerful when you talk about that and actually leads us perfectly into something I want to talk with you guys about today. Uh, a lot of the groups that we've talked to, and I know as we've dug into like SP19 and stuff like that, they talk about there's been a lot of kind of like a lot of misnomers or, or hatred towards the K-pop community in general, that there's been a lot of struggles along the way that people have had to overcome. Have you guys faced any of those types of struggles? And if so, how have you overcome them as a group? Actually, it's unavoidable because it's always there, hate comments and discouragement. But as artists, we are all prepared for those things, and it doesn't really affect us. What we do is we just keep going, we just keep doing our stuff, and yeah. Uh, it's like uh, K-pop copycat and stuff. So we just tend to, oh, you're a copycat, you're a copycat and stuff. So we make fun of it. Yeah. I think it's because of our eyes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's uh, the s most... Uh, most people really don't accept the genre P-pop, which is under the OPM music. Uh, maybe it's new, but with this kind of uh, movement that we're having and the platform that you guys are giving us, maybe this time uh, we can, uh, little by little, be accepted by many people soon. And, and when we talk about platforms, we're going to take a, just a brief moment to do some more shameless plugs. Um, you know, it is very, very important. Like, one of the differences is, is you have all these hardworking people and you have so much talent. The reason we came here was because of the amount of talent that we saw here. We didn't think that it was getting the credit that it deserved. So in order to make sure that they can continue to grow, in order to make sure that P-pop does, in fact, rise, make sure you go in the description below. And if you haven't already at the beginning of the video, check out all those links. Make sure that you're following them on YouTube and all the places and you're streaming their music because it is a free way most of the time to be able to support these artists, guys. Add them into your playlist. Leave it on at night. Like, you can just walk away from your computer and stream their songs. I promise you, it will help and that's the only way that it's going to happen. So make sure that you're doing that. Um, when you talk about kind of like laughing it off and things like that and, and OPM in general and being able to overcome that, that also kind of leads into overall with the growth of P-pop, of how that happens, what kind of impact do you guys want to have on P-pop in general as it grows and on kind of the OPM genre in terms of growing P-pop? Uh, first, uh, the main goal is to be accepted here in the Philippines. And uh, we reach uh, the masses, like uh, from the little kids to the teens and to young adults and to, the, to our titos and titas. Uh, that's the main goal. And then after that, bec because other countries uh, do it already, like J-pop, K-pop, maybe after the P-pop is accepted here in the Philippines, we can go global too. Because yeah, we want to help our the Philippine culture so that uh, one day... Um, yeah, one day uh, it will help our tourism because yeah. uh, the other, other countries, other... Uh, foreign fans can visit the Philippines to when we have concerts here, like P-pop concerts. 
they can visit the Philippines. And I can be one to recommend. We've been here for three weeks now, and it has been amazing since we've been here. One of the biggest things that I can talk about to everybody, like if you're worried about coming because you've never traveled before or you're nervous about it, this has been one of the most amazing trips that I've had in terms of how kind-hearted people from the Philippines are. Like it, when, when people told me about the Philippines hospitality, it's been absolutely incredible. So seriously, like thank you guys and yeah. thank everybody here thank because so we did not have an easy trip getting here. <laughs> and, uh, and it has been incredible, though, since we have been here. Thanks, thanks to you. So seriously, guys, you make the trip. Make the trip. <laughs> Brad told me not to do this right now, so this is what I'm doing to Brad right now. <laughs> Is a two-camera system. So, but thank you guys. Um, as you, as you're kind of growing, and we talk about OPM and things like that, who are your guys' musical inspirations in terms of like when you're when you're writing? What who do you think about either from OPM or from maybe other parts of the world? Uh, do we answer individually? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. as for me, uh, my inspirations are Icon Twenty One CL. In K-pop, but in international, my inspirations are Taylor Swift. Who else? Ariana Grande. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I love Big Bang. So um, actually, uh, they're my inspiration. That's why I learned how to um, write a song, how to perform on stage. So yeah, they're my music inspiration, and I also listen to old songs. So we're applying that to our music. My passion to singing started way back when I was a kid. I really love uh, ni uh, 90s boy bands like the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Westlife, the list goes on. And then when I started writing songs, I, that's the time when I'm listening to Jason Derulo, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, the Western artist. And the one that ho hooked me up here in PHP is the way I, I like K-pop, so Big Bang. So it's really Big Bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I started mine, uh, I think, uh, from the bands. Uh, Deep Purple, Def Leppard, Nirvana. So I think I started from there, yeah. Very, very interesting. I like that. I like that answer. We have very different taste in music. <laughs> You know, and it's funny because we get to ask a couple different questions to you guys because you are so involved in your music. Um, with me and my co-producer, we have such different backgrounds in music, so it's actually really helped us to, when we like create music, we get to create something really new and unique. How does that, do you find that that helps you guys in terms of your music creation process that you get to like pull elements from like all the kinds of different genres then? Yeah, the good thing is since we all have different backgrounds in music, we get to contribute different type, um, different flavors to our music as well. It's like a collective work from everyone. Yeah, and we, s we still continue to research and listen to uh, many music like like oh, we, new songs and new yeah. genres. we listen to different yeah. uh, songs from other countries. Yeah, yeah. like, like uh, Latin songs, Latin, yeah. uh, Western, like Korea, Japanese. Uh, we listened to Indonesian song yeah, yeah, last time, awesome. right? So yeah, uh, it's like an, a never-ending process of learning and creating music. So we can get, uh, we can get or learn from them, because uh, that's the way music. Music is universal. Yeah, that's so. That's such a perfect answer. Uh, as we kind of transition here a little bit. Obviously, that all takes a lot of work. What you guys do takes a lot of work. What does your daily life look like in terms of like your training schedule? How often you guys are with each other? Do you live with one another? Do you live apart? Like, kind of, what is your what does your daily life look like? We live each, we live in uh, we live in same house. Yeah, we live in a dorm. Uh, we wake up in the morning, uh, do exercise, and yeah, we prepare our lunch. And then we go to studio, practice until nighttime, and then we go home, prepare our dinner, and then sleep. That's the routine. I, I think it's uh, actually uh, uh, like a uh, uh, normal job. Uh, having a normal job, it's like eight hours of work, and then you sleep, and then eight hours of work again. It's like a cycle. Yeah. We have more time. We're um, doing some demos. Yeah. yeah. We have free time. We do some songs, demos, and then we. We we play. Yeah, we <laughs> play. Yeah, we it's play. important. We 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 take time to bond, talk, 
about new things, what we want to do. Yeah. What do you guys like doing outside of it? Because obviously there is, it is really important as you're doing this probably far more often than what you would do a normal job, right? It, you you kind of eat, breathe, sleep, yeah. music all the time. When you do get some time to take a break, what do you guys enjoy enjoy doing outside of music? Oh, as for me, I do watch some TV series, K drama at home, and sometimes I go out to grab some coffee alone because I like spending time with myself. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm warming up, so yeah. <laughs> No, uh, but you all know. Uh, I read and I play games. Yeah. Actually, we we the three of us likes playing mobile legends. Mobile. Yeah. Oh, can oh. I, can we say that? When they mobile play games, games. <laughs> mobile games, mobile, mobile games. games. Yeah. When they mobile play game. games, that's the time I watch K drama. So we all have our own time. We watch movies together, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we watch movies. Yeah. Also. Together. Yeah. yeah. For me, uh, you can. I we watch anime. Yeah, and sometimes sometimes games. too. Oh, yeah. favorite anime. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite anime? Uh, r- right now we we're watching uh, Boku no Hero. Boku no Hero. But the other one? Uh, other one is Shingeki no Kyojin. Yeah, Attack on yeah, Titan. Attack on Titan. Yeah. Oh, Attack on Titan. Yeah. Really good. And Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is really good too. Yeah. yeah. I'm a huge anime fan. You. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge anime fan. So, uh, did you guys do My Hero yet? My Hero Academia? Yeah, yeah. Boku oh. no Hero. My Hero Academia. It's so good. It's yeah, so good. really. It's so good. Olomaito. <laughs> 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 so, as a group, obviously, you know, things aren't always easy. There's four of you. You're not always going to uh, mesh. How do you get through your stressful times as a group? Like, when, when maybe there are disagreements and stuff like that, what's your process of kind of working through those times? Um, during those times, we always talk because communication is very important for us. That way, we get to know what each member feels about some certain things. And with that, we get to understand each other more. Anything to add? Uh, after that, we're going outside. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, drink one, some one by one. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we go outside, we grab some food and... Uh, Drink some coffee and then play and then laugh and then walk, go home. Then work again. <laughs> and go back again. to work, yeah. 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 <laughs> so if you guys weren't, just out of curiosity, if you guys weren't doing music right now, uh, what would you see yourself doing if you weren't doing this? Like what would maybe was your life like before you did this and what would you be doing instead? For me as a hospitality management graduate, I would be probably working in a cruise or in a restaurant or in a coffee shop. Probably, me. I you give me coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'll give them free coffee. Give me discount. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, I think I'll be a uh, multimedia artist still. So I'll be doing graphics and stuff, video editing. We're the same, because I love also uh, music, vi- uh, video editing, and yeah. For me, it's different because I'm a nurse, so probably working in a hospital or working abroad. Yeah, you want discount on hospitality? Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> he was actually <laughs> a nurse card. before jo- before yeah. pursuing private play, yeah. and he had oh, to resign. Yeah, I quit my nurse job for PHP. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> take the leap. You gotta take the leap sometimes. Yeah. Speaking of uh, of taking the leap, have you guys had any performances that are the most memorable to you guys? Um, I'll answer first. For me, it would be Popstival 2022 last year because it's my first. It's our first time performing in a at a open ground, and it was really fun. And at the same time, I performed on the same stage as one of my idol, which is Park Boom from 21, and I met her there. Yeah, from that time, my life has changed. Wow, <laughs> life-changing wow. moment! Congratulations! Yeah, it was congratulations. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Uh, for me, uh, yeah. right. for okay. me, I think the P Pop Con because it's our very first time, um, yeah, stage as uh, as press it played. It, it's our first, it's our debut performance yeah. since the pandemic, since right? The pandemic. Uh, for me, it's uh, the second concert, which is the Tugatog, yeah, Tugatog, Tugatog. Uh, ba? Because, <laughs> uh. It's the first time we performed as a quartet. 
So it's so much pressure and effort that we put into the into that concert. So yeah, it was memorable for me. For me, it's also P Popcon uh, last year because uh, yeah, th- as JP said, it's the first stage a concert stage that we're into and we're really excited that time we prepared uh and did our best and and we all, cried. yeah and we, we cried, cried yeah <laughs> uh, we cried because uh we see, we saw many people and we really touched that uh that time uh p-pop is ac- finally being accepted and there are people supporting it so before these concerts, I know that a lot of groups do things to get prepared for the actual concert itself. Do you guys have any pre-show rituals that you guys like to do to get prepared? Uh, yeah, yeah. Every every concert, before we step on stage, we gather ourselves and we pray. Yeah, we don't uh, forget to pray. Thank God for all the blessings that he, that he had given us. And we we always remind each other that on what we practice and what our capabilities so we can boost each other's up like we tap each other's like that you can do it we pass the energy yeah we pass yeah, the we energy hi- we hype each other by like hitting each other's chest mm. <laughs> to pump them up yeah, we need to hype each other so when we step on stage we can hype the crowd yeah that is so so awesome you know i really really appreciate you guys taking some time out with us today before we leave here is there anything that you guys want to say to the audience that's watching, either the people that are already your fans or the people that don't know you yet before we head off. Thank you guys so much for watching this interview with us. It's so fun to be here and we are hoping to see all of you guys soon. And But for now, please do follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Kumu at Press It Play. Yeah. Thank you so much. And again, we are Press It Play. Uh, yeah. Do stream our songs and visit our channel. And you like it, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so, so much, Press It Play, for being here. And make sure that you show them your love and thank them for being here by hitting all those links that are going to be down in the description below. Listen to their music. I promise you that you will not be disappointed. And if you have not already, please make sure you like subscribe to this channel so you can follow along with their journey because this is going to be part of a multi-part series that you're going to be able to see more of them here and you're not going to want to miss that as well. If nobody told you that they love you today, please do not forget that we love you. You're appreciated, always welcome here in this channel and you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye.